Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial for Out Whiteboard version 2. If you don't know already, Out Whiteboard turns your drawing into whiteboard animation easily. This short tutorial is the second tutorial. It is about the updates and the new features in the new version. If you are looking for the basics, you can go to tutorial 1 for step-by-step -step instructions. I will put a link below so that you know where to find it. First of all, I hope to say thank you to whoever purchased our whiteboard. I have received great feedback since it is launched. Thank you for your support. So let's talk about the new features. The first one is that now you can use your own hand presets. So you probably already know that we provide you the default hand with marker, pen, pencil, and erasers. But I got some feedback from users asking if it is possible to use their own hands. It is now possible. It needs a bit setup, but you can totally do it. Here's a guide. Take a photo of your hand with a solid color background in Photoshop. Give it a size of 2000 pixels in horizontal direction and 2588 pixels in vertical direction. It doesn't have to be exactly in this size. It can be bigger or smaller. But this is a size I recommend since I have been doing some tests. And this size turns out to have a better result. Then remove the background. Then save it as PNG format. And drag it into After Effects. Now in After Effects, I have already named the image as my hand.png, all capitalized. This is exactly what we want. If your file name is not like this, you may hit enter and rename it. So please keep this in mind. My hand.png, this is the only name the script can read. You can also use PNG sequences to animate the hand a little bit, just like what I did with the default hand, and rename it in the same way. In this tutorial, I just use an image. Now you can choose the option use my own hand preset and treat it as a default hand. If you don't know how to use a default hand, you may check the first tutorial for more details. So here we go. You can always replace the hand with something else. For example, I have a marker pen image. I can replace it really easily without redo the animation. You can scale or rotate the pen, change the angle a bit until you are happy with the result. You can be really creative on this, right? I hope to see you create whiteboard animation with your hands, so feel free to send me a link if you did so. The second update is a dark skin option. If you are happy with the hand shape and you just want to change the color of the hand, you don't need to create a new hand. You probably noticed that the checkbox is changed to dark skin in the new version. If you need a darker skin color, you just need to check it and you will get a default hand with darker skin. If you are not happy with the skin color, after you apply the animation, you may go to the hand and find this color controls. You can twist the color correction in any way you like. I understand this update cannot address all needs from all users. I will keep a record of your feedback and keep developing this script to make it a better tool. If you have any questions or suggestions, you may shoot me a message through the support email here. Thank you for watching this tutorial.